Katy Perry is being called out by one of the 84-year-old veteran sons, who tells RadarOnline.com that her army of enablers will stop at nothing to get the pop star what she wants, his aging father's $15 million mansion. Chart Westcott opened up about the brutal home war, in which his dad, Carl Westcott, claimed he was tricked into selling his beloved Montecito property to Perry and Orlando Bloom in 2020 when he was on painkillers and recovering from back surgery. After the medication wore off, he changed his mind, but when he approached the A-list couple's business agent about the mistake, he received a letter from their attorney revealing they were not willing to walk away and he was obligated to complete the sale. The trial kicked off earlier this month, with Chart saying that Perry and her legal minions sunk to a new low when they accused his family of faking Carl's illness. The 1-800-FLOWERS founder has Huntington's disease, and medical experts even testified that he was incapacitated and suffering from early Alzheimer's-dementia symptoms brought on by the debilitating illness. He was diagnosed with the disease in 2015. Chart called allegations heinous and ridiculous in a phone interview with RadarOnline.com on Wednesday, adding, This is a sad reflection on the state of affairs in Hollywood. He accused the pop star's army of enablers of being solely focused on getting her what she wants at any cost. According to Chart, they will sink to any low to cave to Perry's demands. They are soulless. All they want to do is fulfill Katie's selfish desires, he said. Carl's son insisted this battle for the roar singer is about her ego and selfishness, but it's about much more for his family. This is about him, Carl, especially now that they are trying to smear him. They crossed lines with us, and I don't take it lightly, Chart told RadarOnline.com, adding that keeping the home was one of his last wishes. Chart said the family will do whatever they can to protect Carl's legacy, revealing he will defend his dad's honor with every force of strength in my body. Carl is bedridden and unable to comprehend the scope of the legal battle reasons why his family is hell-bent on being in court to face Perry's legal team, we're told. The pop star's lawyers recently filed documents accusing Carl and his lawyers of concealing the sale of his Dallas property, which he offloaded for $3.5 million months after he signed over his mansion to Perry and Bloom. They claimed this contradicted Carl's claim that he lacked capacity to engage in real estate negotiations when he gave the singer and the actor his home. However, the family spokesperson scoffed at the accusations, releasing a statement to RadarOnline.com saying Perry's lawyers know well that Mr. Westcott's secretary held his power of attorney regarding the sale of the Dallas house. Their continued efforts to disregard Mr. Westcott's mental illness, going so far as to accuse his family of faking his Huntington's disease diagnosis shows their heartless nature, the spokesperson's response continued. Particularly in light of Katy Perry's hypocritical self-proclaimed concern about mental illness, all while a world-renowned expert on Huntington's disease affirmed Mr. Westcott's diagnosis back in 2015, five years prior to the dates in question. Katy Perry and her attorneys continued disregard for Mr. Westcott's brain disease and mental illness demonstrate how low they will stoop to get her what she wants at any cost. Chart believes Perry won't drop the house battle with his aging father because she has personal disgust for the mentally ill and elderly. Her attorney recently denied that allegation, telling RadarOnline.com, Katie has never, under any circumstances, at any time, ever made negative or disparaging remarks about the elderly, mentally ill, or veterans. Katie herself has been involved in substantial charitable efforts on behalf of many less fortunate individuals in our society. The sole reason Katie Perry is pursuing litigation is that she entered into a written contract with Mr. Westcott, who was perfectly competent at the time for a home that she wishes to live in with her family, the lawyer said. However, as RadarOnline.com pointed out, Perry accused Westcott of owing her $2.6 million related to the income she said she could have made if she had rented out the bedridden businessman's home after buying it. The fireworks singer has been ordered to testify. RadarOnline.com can reveal that the trial has been paused until November 3rd due to scheduling conflicts including Perry's Las Vegas residency and her job as an American Idol judge.